Hi staff, this video is going to guide you through how you can use Microsoft Forms to create surveys and online quizzes. It's undergone a few upgrades of recent times which makes it even more powerful than what it used to be. So let's begin and I'll show you where this lives. So we're going to begin by logging into Office 365 which is a link on the portal and when you authenticate and go through you'll find Forms as a tile on that Office 365 platform. So I'll click on Forms. Now when you hit the forms landing page you're going to see two options to create a new form which is like a survey or you can have a quiz. I'll click on um, one of those and the features are very similar in both so I won't go into both those areas however you'll see that when you go in everything's quite user friendly. If I click on the title um, I can change that to sample form and I can put a description for what uh, this form is about. When you add questions, you will have options to add in a choice, a text, a rating or a date and all these features you'll see that there are extra options to make multiple answers and good idea to make it so that uh, people need to have a response to that question before they move on. So tagging the things like required are very important as well. But essentially you add uh, more questions as you go, you'll see you have long answers and you can move questions up and down um, and sort them. So you can rearrange your questions as required. Now I have just only just started making this particular form so there are currently no responses um, but you can see there's a template and a dashboard there which lets you export results to Excel. You can see the average time that people have taken to complete the, uh, the form and really important as well to check out some other features. So if I click on my sample form and click on the three dots I can see there's branching logic options um, where I can look at some features and make people jump around to different questions. I can look at the settings for this particular form. Now currently this, this form only the people within the Hale Office 365 environment can respond and it will record their name in the results that get exported to Excel. However, you can make a form, say for instance for our parents who, who are in Office 365 and um, send a link out to anyone outside of the organisation as well. So look, please uh, explore these options as you go. And the, the last one that's probably really important to look at is that once your form has been graded and you're ready to submit it or share it, you'll see there's some links and some other options, QR codes and all sorts of things for that. And if I copy that particular code and paste that in, in an email, you will see that this is what a preview is like to someone within the organisation that they have the ability to uh, click on options and, and submit. So that's how a user who receives your link uh, would access the form. It is extremely mobile friendly as well so it works brilliantly on mobile phones and other devices. The other new feature which is amazing is now we've got the ability to share and collaborate this particular form. So what that means is that if I'm a team teacher for a unit uh, of work, say for instance health, and I've got three other teachers that also need to have access to maybe the quiz results for you know the whole cohort of kids that did that test, that I can send a link to those other teachers and now they can also access, edit the questions and look at the responses for this particular survey. So a really brief introduction of forms, it's probably going to be the new platform that we really push forward with our staff in terms of collecting information about our kids and collecting feedback. So if you need a hand getting started with Microsoft Forms, please be in touch and we'd be happy to help. Take care.